Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So I decided to do something different on this channel. I decided instead of doing a favorites video every day, I'm just going to do one weekly favorites video and that way I can just kind of put it all into one. And it makes it much easier for me um, as far as time wise and everything goes. So let's get started. This week, I love this nail combination. However, the polishes are chipping. So I like these colors. Um, but I don't know if I like the companies quite so well because look at those two. They're chipping on the tips. And I pro I really don't have, um, it's the polish brands. I think it, everyone asks me all the time, how do you get your nails to not chip? Well, it's by choosing the right polish brands. And that's really my thinking behind it. So I'm going to show you what I have and I'm going to show you the colors. And kind of like one of the biggest questions I get all the time too, I get a lot of questions about my nails. But they're like, what are your favorite colors for spring, whatever? I don't really have, like, favorite colors for different seasons because I live in Florida. Our seasons are basically the same. We get spring and we get summer. We don't really have a winter. We don't have a fall. Um, so I just pick the colors I like. So this week I went with these two colors. And this color, the darker, I switched it up on both nails. So this hand I did too dark or too light on this one and then too dark on that one. See? Um, but this one is the Deborah Lipman in the color I want, I know what boys like. Um, so I've never used her polishes before. I did purchase a couple other ones, which I might try out this week and see if it has the same thing where it's chipping or if maybe I just did something. Maybe I, I had some kind of really crazy activity that I made my nails chip. And the other one is by RGB Cosmetics. And I found out about this company from Allure Magazine and, um, one of my actual favorite colors for the whole month, which I'll put on my The Current Custom channel, is by this company. Um, and this color is called Plum. So I don't know, the last polish I used from them didn't really chip, but so it might be something I did. But I like these colors a lot. I like the mattes, I like the bluish purple color, I like the purplish, I just like these colors. They're awesome. So these are my favorites this week. <laughs> um, so you probably see my nail combination every week because unless I hate what I've done. Uh, but yeah, so nail combination. Something else that I really liked. Okay, my iPad. I love my iPad, but I really got into it this week, and I was really against reading books on like an iPad or something. I like to have a physical book. So I bought, or I went to Barnes & Noble to purchase the book 50 Shades of Grey. It's a series, and it's, if you're not 18 and up, I do not recommend reading it because it's a, like a pornographic book, but it's awesome. So if you like like romance books and you like very sexual books, this one's great, but I've read it, been reading it on my iPad, and it's so much better to read a book on my iPad than it actually is to read a book holding it because what's awesome is okay let's see you go to okay I'm on page 358 of 692 it tells you down in the bottom here you have seven pages left in this chapter so you can decide um, if you want to continue with it or you want to pause where you're at whatever um, but this is so much better um, and then you've got the time up at the top it's well lit so if you're reading at nighttime it's not a problem and then you just go do and it leaves at the page where you're at. So I just really love this. I was really against this, but I really love it. Um, and this book is, it's really good. It's really good. So this is really my favorite of the week. Also love my iPad, but uh, yeah. If you are into some kind of sexual S&M weird stuff, not that I'm into that kind of stuff, I'm not, but I liked reading about it. It's, it's quite interesting and it's, I don't know, <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. So, that's a cool book. My iPad, I love it. Um, another thing I've been loving this week is sparkling water. <laughs> Particularly, okay, first of all, I've been really liking this brand, and I think it's called LaCroix. Never really drank it before. Um, never really even looked at it before, but it's just sparkling water that's a little flavored. Um, it's got zero calories. What does it say on it? No calories, no artificial sweetener, sodium-free. It's really good. It's just like, if you don't want water, but you don't want to drink something really bad, um, it just has a little flavor to it. So something a little extra, and I really like it. So I have the orange flavor, which I've tried, which I like, my husband likes. And the coconut one, which I like, my husband doesn't like it, because it kind of tastes like sunscreen, but for some reason I enjoy that. So I really like their, these. There's a bunch of other flavors, 
and I'm excited to try them. And then because I like sparkling water so much, my husband and I went out to um, went out to have drinks with friends. But I wasn't, I didn't really feel like drinking anything, so we ended up ordering a bottle of sparkling water. And it's just kind of nice, like if you ever want to go to a bar or something and you want to meet up with friends and stuff, it's not a big deal to just have sparkling water or something. Just, it was nice, they give you little wine glasses and then they pour it. But when I went there, um, this is awesome. Okay, the Bulgari uh, for San Pellegrino. I love it and I needed it because it had jewels on it. So my husband, um, we went there one day and I'm like, oh, well, we'll just go to the store and we'll get some. I'm just because I don't even know what I'm gonna do with the bottle, but I'm like, well, go get some because I really like it. And then we went to Total Wine to see if I could buy this sparkling water with the Bulgari label. Looked online, couldn't find it anywhere. And then I read, I don't remember if I read it on the label or if I read it on the, uh, I read it on the online, but it's only served at fine restaurants. So the restaurants, you have to get it from restaurants, but it's pretty and has jewels on it. I don't know what I'm going to do with this bottle afterwards, but I feel like I should keep it forever, or I don't even know if I should drink this one. But this made me really happy. This made my week. So we went a couple times and just drank outside, which was very nice, and drank bottled water. So I enjoyed that. And then the other thing that I completely, completely love this week were my Tom Ford. I just bought these, just cleaned them. So I could show them and um, talk about them, not only on this channel, but on my current custom channel uh, with my video of the makeup I'm currently using. Um, but I love these, and I feel like they should be talked about over and over again. Particularly um, this one, which is the cheek brush. It's Tom Ford. This is a really pretty, deep, like rich mahogany color. I bought them because... I like the gold. <laughs> Honestly, I bought them because I liked the gold. And I actually was, I went, I was watching one of Makeup by Tiffany D's videos and she had the Sigma brush set that had gold on it. And I went online and I looked at Sigma and it was like a $500 set. And I know overall, um, they didn't just sell them individually. And I didn't want to spend $500 on a brush set. Even though these are expensive brushes, I can buy them piece by piece, and I'm glad I did because the quality of these is amazing. The hair on these is so nice. This brush is amazing, the cheek brush. Um, these are pretty standard brushes like the blending brush and the pencil brush, but I've never really wanted to use these brushes that much because you have to clean them and go through the whole process. I want to use these all the time because I love them so much. Um, this one in particular is a great one, which is just a shadow brush. Um, shade or it's number 11 and um it's nice because it's it's got it's dense like it's it's really thick in here and then it tapers and gets thin up at the top and so you can apply a color all over the lids and then you can apply like you know like get like a darker color up on the tip and apply it in the crease if you want to and then you can blend it out with your blending brush. But I actually ordered more of their, his brushes online because I love them so much. I wish he would make a kabuki brush. Um, yeah, but I love these. They're so nice quality. I know they're expensive, um, but the quality is, is really nice. They're the nicest brushes I've ever used. Um, they're just beautiful. Don't they just look beautiful too? They really look really beautiful. Um, so I know you're probably paying for the name because his stuff is expensive. No matter what it is, it's expensive. His sunglasses are like the top of the line expensive. And I don't know, like they're just sunglasses, whatever, but these are nice and they're they're really worth it. I bought one of his eyeshadows to try um, and I'll get that with my next little brush set order just to see if his makeup is worth it too because I love his lipsticks. Um, but I would like to try his other products because I can't believe how nice these are. I love these. I love them so much. Um, but I think that's all I really, really loved this week. I did love um, like my eyeshadow that I used this week, which I talked about on my other channel, The Current Custom. Um, I really like using this color, which is soft brown. And then I like handwritten. I like sketch. Um, these colors by MAC are awesome. MAC makes really good eyeshadows. But those are my favorite things for the week. Um, so let me know your favorite things of the week. And I will post another video next week. Goodbye.